This is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction of today, we are going straight over to Coke Studio. That's right, because they just released, well, not just released, about a number of hours ago, uh, about about 17 or, or maybe more. Uh, this is Darrell um, Dureri, um, Coke Studio, it's got Coke Studio Bangla. That's what it says on there. Yeah, uh, season two, Ishlan and Nadita. Let me know, what do I know about this particular song? Or let me know. I'm going to read it out to you. It says here, um, Darrell um, Durari. But let me go back to translate. Let me let me make sure I'm saying it right. Darrell Durari. Durari. So that's what I'm, that's what Google Translate is translated to. Darrell Durari. So don't shoot the messenger. But pass the message on to me and I'll shoot him. <laughs> um, the me not the messenger, but the person who told the messenger. So it says, um, Dural Durari is a beautiful love poem by Kazi um, Nazarel, Islam, a national poet, most famously known for a rebel poem. In Bangladesh, the marks of the poet talent can be found by many genres, including um, gazelles. The, his gazelles are rich in expressions that pierce the hearts with love. The song is the woo of two lovebirds who have fallen madly in love with each other. The spirit of the love flows through around them and all in circles around them. The duet performance depicts the Romeo and Juliet, okay, where the innocent of flesh voices of um, Ishan harmonizes with the medullius, not medullius, medulli I can never pronounce that word, um, but it's the melodies, yeah? Um, but it's the melodious. I can never put out. I'm going to stop. <laughs> the voices of beautiful um, Nadita. Uh, this is Ishan's debut performances and the purity with which he sings is truly delivers a real magic of falling in love for the first time. Okay, so there's going to be some serious frequencies that I, I expect from OGs. When you sing, you know, like the ones that you just like, you know, like, you know, like if you taste an onion and you got that bitter taste in your mouth, you know, like, that's the face expression that you, that you hit when you feel a song or a frequency just hits right through you, that resonates right through your whole body. It's like, oh my gosh. So I'm expecting a hell of a lot of that. So look, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you do it? Season two. Season two. I think authenticity is certainly key when you're constructing traditional values. I swear it has so much medicinal purposes when you hear these frequencies. It's a healing frequency, you know? Isn't this lovely and just gentle in your body? It's flowing on this music. What does wearing white represent in this love story? Is it the innocence? Or the, pu the purity of the love? Oh, come on, professional people. 
understands it so well. This doesn't as much as this does in your soul. It's beautiful. Here she comes. She's going to destroy this. Oh my gosh, she's going to destroy my body. version as well as the male version coming together. I very much doubt it would be complete if you didn't have the female version. I love that bloody guitar. Where has it gone? <laughs> so that was Darrell Dereri, Coach Jujo season two, um, uh, Ishan and Nadita. Where do I start? I, I do you know the funny thing is I, I told you from the beginning these medicinal purposes, these medicinal frequencies that it resonates throughout your body. Like right now, after hearing it, my body feels much more different from when I first pressed the play button. So you can't tell me that the frequencies that's been hidden in Coach Jujo in itself, period, period, with these amazing artists, it doesn't do amazing, it doesn't, 
heal certain things within your body. Your brain is so separated from these, from this experience when you go into co what is Coach Studio and when you go into these artists because these artists are completely different from any kind of westernized elements that you would have witnessed or, or, or seen or, exper or indeed experienced. And there is different, there is, yes, there is a number of countries all over the world that have their own interpretation of songs that have uh, um, medic medicinal purposes. I'm not talking about, you know, you wake me up before you go, go. No, I'm not talking about your wham or anything like that. I'm talking about certain traditional, maybe folk element songs that have, that is enriched in culture, the, the, no matter what the storyline is. When you hear these frequencies, it does some serious things to your body, man. And it shall not be shone away as just, oh, wow, this song is amazing. It just made me feel like, no, it, it, there's a, it hits certain areas. It doesn't go whoop off ever. It, it hits bang or it hit bang or it hit there. It has these different pinpoints of areas within your body. And you might be thinking, oh, come on, you're chatting a hell, a hell of a load of car car. It's just a good song. No, it's more than a song. You heard certain frequencies and you heard certain riffs that she was in particularly doing, that um, Nadinta, what she was doing. There were certain elements I was like, whoa. And after I felt that, whoa, it was like bam, 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 like slow motion. It was incredible. And it's nice to see that the younger, the younger generation have the same kind of um, attributes as the old, older generation who they've so much learned, that had so much learning teachings from. Because when you get the OGs in the house, you hear the difference. But it's nice to see that their teaching is not shining away. It's not diluting. You know, sometimes you can teach somebody something and then when they teach it somebody else and when they teach it somebody else, it kind of dilutes this kind of references. But this is really, really strong. This is a really lovely Romeo and Juliet. And I loved it, yeah, yeah. This is totally, it, it had me. And normally, is the visuals of what is presented on Coach Studio is, it shares that same kind of platform. But this time, the meat of was the frequencies. I say good 80% of, of my feeling towards this, this, uh, this performance was down to the, vo the vocals. And then the 20% was down to the visual presentation, which there is, I don't know, I don't think I've had that feeling before, but I'm now gonna go back and check how many times that has actually happened to me. So I'll go back to you and look forward to any kind of conversation that we have um, once I upload this amazing uh, reaction, amazing performance. But until then, I salute you. Boom. Boom.